All right, starting the DIY RV renovations today. Doing something a little different. Uh, no Waffle House. I'm gonna start off with uh, little Mickey D's. So I'm gonna get up and get away. I deserve a break today. I hope I'm loving it. See how I did that? Woo! Breakfast over, time to get at it. Lots to do this morning. So much to do today, uh, but this is gonna be the big push. I think I'm gonna be able to get a first primer onto all of the rest of the material, all the cabinets and the, the frames inside the RV. So that'll be a good thing. And then I'm gonna go uh, and knock out all of the doors. Once the big painting is done, uh, then I'll be able to go back, fine tune, uh, add the hinges, things like that. So big day today, gonna work very hard. Got my coffee to start things off. Let's go do this. Have all my cabinet drawers and doors out. Gonna start rolling and getting the primer on. So it's been a productive morning. I've been able to get all of the uh, drawer fronts, uh, all of the cabinet doors and the uh, kitchen or the bathroom door Primed. Everything's primed and drying right now, so I probably get a chance to get one full coat on everything a little bit later. Now it's in to prep the frames and everything inside uh, so that I can get one coat of primer on everything inside. Here we go. Taping. It's one of the most important things when you're painting uh, a cabinet or painting anything in your RV. It's also the one thing I hate to do, but have some good tape uh, going around, uh, hitting all of the corners and all the spots, and pretty soon uh, I'll be back at primering. But until then, more tape. renovation wall has come forward and smashed me right in my face I'm beat for the rest of the day uh, but I got a lot done so that's the good part the cabinet doors all of the fronts and the bathroom door have been primed um, the rest of the rig about three-quarters of the way uh, is uh, complete in terms of prime it's all prepped and ready uh, so next time uh, I'm going to finish uh, priming everything uh, and get started on the second coats. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? David, AKA RV Jedi, and the cabinet experiment right there continues. Uh, I'm gonna finish off getting the primer and first coat of paint, hopefully on all of the frames and everything, uh, and then get it on the uh, cabinet doors as well. Uh, it's been a longer process than I had hoped, but we are nearing the end. So let's get started. Let's get this thing going. Woo!
Okay, so uh, first coat of white is on all of the cabinet doors and uh, also on all of the drawers and cabinets. Uh, I think it's gonna look really good. Uh, it's nice that we got the first one on, but I gotta go back inside and finish up the priming of the frames uh, and then get uh, some white on there. Rehabbing for the day over, uh, I was able to get one coat of uh, white paint on the uh, bathroom uh, frames, uh, a second coat on most of the cabinet uh, and drawer fronts uh, outside. So all in all, not a bad day. Um, the whole place is primed and now ready to paint. So uh, just gotta finish off strong. One more day, maybe two of painting. Good morning, everybody. David, aka RV Jedi, with you. Uh, it is uh, early. As you can tell, it's dark outside, and it is a Sunday, a day I don't normally work on. Uh, but because I had regular work yesterday uh, and it was a long day, uh, wasn't able to get to the RV. So I'm here today because there's still tons of stuff to do. Now, to give you a little idea of how it all works for me, I, I don't live with my RV. Uh, it's at a storage facility. So I have to go there, pick it up. Uh, thankfully, I have a space at work that I can work on it. Uh, and then I get everything done have to take it back to the storage place and uh, then go home. So it's a big process to get everything done, but it's a process that's necessary because there's a lot that needs to get done with this RV. So uh, we've been continuing painting. Uh, that's going to happen today, but I, f I, I feel it. It's getting nearer. The end of painting is nearer. Uh, so we're going to knock out a whole bunch of stuff today and then, oh yeah in a couple of weeks onto the flooring. All right, so I don't have the rights to any music, but I wanna know, question for you. When you're doing RV renovation and you've got the radio on, what are you listening to? So it's been a good first part of the morning. I was able to get a second coat of paint on all of the cabinet doors uh, and the drawer fronts. Now it's inside to finish up the first coat of paint on the interior of the RV. Uh, and I think that's probably gonna be it for the day. It's a short day for me, but uh, still a lot to get done. As I'm painting inside, I'm using a myriad of uh, different tools. Uh, right now, using the brush to get in all the nooks and crannies of the um, grooves that are on top of this molding here in the RV. So that's going to wrap up today. Short day, just six hours in, uh, but everything now has one coat of white uh, on all of the interior cabinets. Um, and hopefully next time I'll be able to get the final coat on. Hopefully it's only going to take two coats, uh, but then should be it. And I will be able to start putting everything back together and start looking ahead to the 
next project. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click and subscribe here. Uh, I'm going to obviously update the budget here and then also go to rvjedi.com to see a running tab of everything that I'm doing. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and RV or renovate your RV. <laughs>